Hello YouTube, this is Lyman Games and I'm making a special video for a request because of my um one of my other videos I had. I had a question mentioned for uh, how do you put uh, textures in the Blender video game so you can actually see it. And I've been uh, asked this question in the comment section for my other one which is how to how to put textures inside Blender in general. Now a lot of people had trouble um finding out how to do this uh, kind of thing and I was struggling myself I won't lie one of my games I had abandoned by all I was supposed to put textures but the textures never really worked when I turned on the game testing mode for it and that's why I didn't have any textures because it never worked for me but then I recently read an article that I found well, this article wasn't published recent uh, recently, but I did stumble across it, and this is from Blender.StockExchange.com. I'll put a link of this article in the comments below, um, in the description below. Excuse me, but uh, I'm still gonna do a tutorial on how to, uh, or a quick tip actually, on how to put uh, texture so that it appears in games. So basically, there's a couple of instructions that um, they tell you to do, and one of them is to UV map it, and then go into viewpoint shading and we did all that but one of the things also it specifies is that they actually they tell you to put textures in the col uh, the column which uh, shows you where you can put the materials and textures and they even tell you to change the 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 shading inside the properties panel to GLSL and if you're still unsure how to do it, don't worry. Uh, I figured out my, uh, myself how to do it. But it did t it take me time to actually get it for work for myself. So I just opened up a new project. And what I'm going to do is basically just really quickly. Um, oops. This stuff fell. But yeah. Uh, so basically, you're going to go ahead and do edit mode. Then we're going to go ahead and do UV map or mark, excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and open up a second window, and then open up UV image editor, then first thing I'm going to do is find an image I'm going to use, in this case I'm going to take a picture that I had for my trailer for my game, um, it's just to use as a, uh, just like a placeholder, just to show you that it's, uh, this method works, so basically you're going to go ahead and unwrap it, so then go ahead and do textures and appears and we're in blender render so we change it to blender game however this mistake um or this uh problem is is that even though we can see it in our user perspective uh, perspective when we hit play it just turns white now this is the issue that i also was um uh i had when i was making my game so one of the things it tells you to do is to go into textures and one thing is to create a new image inside the world and we're gonna go ahead and right here where it says open find the same image and so that's that's that so that's just to double check and it also said I wanna go ahead and make a new texture just to make sure it works and this one right here just to make sure it works as well and now one of the things it says is to make sure they had the mapping of it to be UV for coordinates and the mapping to be UV map and then leave the projection to be flat. Now one of the other things it said also was that inside the property panel, like I said or read earlier, is that you're supposed to change it to I believe GLSL and right here is shadings and for multi texture we hit GLSL and then now if we hit play you can see the texture and just also make clarify it because it doesn't look completely right I'm just gonna select scale it down um, yeah something like this and then let's go back into object mode and we hit play and our texture is still there so that was just something I want to do and uh, to the guy who asked this question, uh, I believe, if I don't remember the name, I put it in the description. This is how you put textures in, in Blender and that so it appears in, in, in the game as well. Um, I know that 
Blender isn't something I would recommend to make uh, games specifically. Um, usually like Unity and Unreal Engine is also a case, but Blender is a way to start for like beginning and I the way I like the reason why I like Blender is because it's not really for to use um to make games, but it it's user friend friendly and it's well known for making like animation and stuff. So um this is something that if you are just trying to get into um, making games in general or game developing, this is the why I like to start off with, and then eventually you get into Unity. But it's also because of um, coding; not a lot of people really understand. And um, heck, I'm still trying to learn how to use Java. But um, this is just something I want to do as a request. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, dislike, um, leave feedback, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.